Welcome to this bite-sized episode of the Paywall Podcast with me, your host, Nick Day. These are short snippets from my main podcast show, which is the go-to source for all things related to payroll. Featuring experts from the world of payroll, these bite-sized episodes are going to share key insights, nuggets of information, tips, and best practices to help you navigate the complex world of payroll. And remember, if you ever need support recruiting talent for your payroll team, please do get in touch with either myself or my team at jgarecruitment.com. For now, sit back, tune in, and let's talk payroll. We talked earlier on about the relationship with the other stakeholders, with finance, with HR, with reward, with with other business leaders as well. How does yeah. this transformation project relate to the wider strategy? Those organisation objectives for LNG. You know, this is a, I think this is incredible because this is a great example that you're you're describing now of how payroll can really impact a wider, a broader organisational objective that that wants to be achieved by a business and. As you know, if you assuming you do achieve it, and I, it sounds like what we just mentioned, the second half is going to be much easier than the first half, right? Because you're learning as you go, so it's going to be a cinch. Yeah. This is what I'm thinking. So, assuming that happens and you get it all delivered, how does this really play into those organisational objectives, and what, what what are you going to be achieving uh, for the business? So, there's there's probably a couple of things really. The first one is about the scalability. Um, we were with the old legacy system, we weren't able to scale any further, and using the new platforms we were able to scale to a much bigger size of population. So we're constantly doing volume testing, constantly stressing the systems to see how they cope. And that's something that we're, again, fine tuning. We'll do a particular volume test. We will fine tweak. So you can, I don't want to get into too much technically, but you can multi-thread and index and do different things on systems that constantly improve their processes. And we've been able to do that, which is great. So we can go after larger books of business where we can take on more volume and not worry about whether we can sustain that. So that's the first thing. The next thing is we've very much got a a digital eye for the future. So um, legal in general really wants to be able to get the customers to self-serve where they want to, but give them the choice. If they don't want to, then obviously they can still come and speak to a human or they can do multi-channel and that's that's the thing is to give them the choice of how they best want to work with us and obviously as time goes on more people want to self-serve digitally than they would have previously so we really want to be able to give the customers that that choice and that's a, a big business strategy as well and and the main strategy and this kind of goes back to the first thing I was talking about do you want white glove service or do you want standardization? So legal in general, it's all about the customer experience. They don't want white glove, but they don't want standardization to a point that actually it becomes uncustomer friendly. So it's in that balance, right? And we're really able to help with this solution, make that happen. Great. And actually it ties in again to, again, making payroll profitable. If you can now scale, if you can win more customers on the back of that scalability, then that's adding directly to the bottom line of what LNG can provide to customers. That means more business. And that's a great example as well of how we can make payroll profitable. And I can, I can see what's caught your attention. You mentioned there that you love to learn early on and you've moved yeah. from waterfall to agile. So that's obviously keeping you fully engaged with, or, despite the stresses as well. I hope you enjoyed today's bite-sized edition of the Payroll Podcast. Remember to subscribe to the show, share it with your payroll colleagues and friends, and why not also check out some of our previous episodes for more golden nuggets of payroll information that you never know, they may just help you along in your own payroll journey. But for now, I'm Nick Day, and you've been listening to the Payroll Podcast Bite-Sized.